Hi everyone, my name is Basim Zahili and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over how to buy and sell shares and also how to navigate Quest Trades trading account. Um, I made a short video of this at the end of one of my previous videos, but uh, no one seems to have gotten that far. It's quite a long video. They've been asking me how do I buy, how do I sell, so I'm going to be making a dedicated video of how to navigate Quest Trade right here. So this is the login page, you'll click login, fast forward, boom. So every time you log in, you'll get to this summary page. Now, please don't mind this. I'm going through a little rough time right now. I think everyone else is. Um, I made a previous video about uh, my unrealized losses, but we'll, we'll deal with that at another time. So here it gives you a brief summary, the date, your total losses on your portfolio, how much cash you have, what's your market value, total equity, fine. Moving down, they want some more information on my citizenship. Not sure why, but we'll let that go for now. Scrolling down a little more, it tells you your two accounts, what well, my two accounts that you have. You can also have an options account. You can have an RRSP account. Um, this is one of my three accounts that I have trading. So I have a TD Bank RRSP, and then I also have drip accounts with each company that I have a dividend reinvestment plan with. So this is solely for, Quest Trade is used solely for my margin account, my TFSA. As you can see, I have little cash in my TFSA, no big deal. I've maxed it out so I can't put any more in. I have $62,000 in cash in my margin account. This is from funds I've moved over once this whole um, recession kind of crash happened. I'm going to be buying shares a little by little, by little every week to hope, hopefully get that dollar cost averaging. If we look over here, we have the market value of all these shares I own. So just a couple weeks ago, this was $50,000 more, and now I have that unrealized loss, no big deal. This is the total equity that I have. Not much to do on this page, it's just a summary. What else you can do here, if we go to reports, account activity, because I invest mainly in dividend paying stocks, I like to see it when my dividends get paid and how much. If you click on account activity, they give you a whole summary of everything that goes in and out of your account. You see we have 25 trades, 60 dividends over this period, December to March. We could narrow that down if we just go to March to March. Boom, not as much. You can see my trades and then you can toggle them off. You can turn all these off just to see your dividends. You could see how much you get. Boom, boom, boom. This is your net. It also tells you, I think, if it's US or Canadian dollar. Not sure where, no big deal. We'll go through this at another time. Something else you can do here, see your tax slips. Every year, Questrade will prepare your tax slips if you do have any. If you have a TFSA, you won't have any tax slips, but everything is available for you here. As you can see, nothing in 2020 because it's not over yet. Something else we can do, requests. We can exchange funds. If you want to buy in US, if you want to buy a US stock and you don't have the funds, here's where you will do it. So you will select the account you want to exchange from. So here are my two accounts. Transaction. I want to exchange Canadian dollars to US dollars. And here I'm going to specify the amount to sell. No, I want to specify the amount of US dollars to buy. So I want, let's say, 1500 US dollars. Click submit is saying you want to exchange CAD to US, specify the amount you want. So I want 1500 US dollars. They will take the necessary amount of CAD out to fulfill this amount. Click confirm. Your request has been received. You can monitor this request, monitor the status by going to request history. Fine. Let's go request history. You can see, I don't know what I did here, $3. What is up with that? So here you can see their processing status new. This is processed. Hopefully they'll get to this by the end of the day, maybe the next day, no big deal. Okay, now what you came for, let's buy stocks. So you can either go here, go to trading, or you can click trading up here. Slow computer. Very slow computer. Okay. Now here you'll see you can toggle between your TFSA 
and your my TFSA and my margin. So I can go TFSA here. It gives me a summary of everything I have. Go to margin, a summary of everything I have here. You can see all the positions you have, any orders you've put, any executions, none, none, none. So we're going to be doing that all today. Um, I don't really use anything else on the side here. Stocks, you can look something up here. I've been looking at TELUS, my watch list. I don't really use this either. Um, alerts, let's see what's alerts. I accept. What are alerts? No big deal. Not really sure what this is. Let's go back to the account. So today we're going to buy, what should we buy? I'm going to buy some shares of BMO. Here you can choose between options and stocks make sure to select the correct one you can choose bmo on the tsx this explains the difference this is the last sale that happened this is what people are asking to buy at and these are people what, what they're asking to sell for so the difference between the ask and the sell price what people want and these are the size people want four shares here this guy wants to sell one share no big deal Quantity, how many shares do you want to buy? I don't know. Let's go 10. And then also, what do you want to do here? Market means, do you want to buy at the asking price, no matter what it is? You're okay with anything, no matter what it is? Or do you want to limit? Do you want to specify how much you want to pay? So here we can go 66.59. This is what they're asking for. And then duration. I usually do the day. I want this, if this doesn't get filled, I want this to expire at the end of the day. You can, you can select it to sell uh, or to buy no matter what for like a month for a certain amount of time. But I just like to do for a day. I don't like to do market. Um, imagine if someone does something crazy and they start asking for a hundred dollars, you would have automatically have bought 10 shares at a hundred dollars when it's, you know, pretty much only worth 66 right now. So let's limit, let's go. I just want to buy right away. So let's go 66.65 in my margin account. Let's buy over here. It gives you a summary one last time. This is your commission. This is how much it's charging you $666 for 10 shares of BMO. Let's send order. It should give me a confirmation to pop up here. Waiting for it. Okay, it's not popping up. You can see the orders that you have outstanding if we click here. Boom. So we have an accepted order to buy BMO at $10. So they, it obviously hasn't filled, but you know what we can do. If we click here, it should pop up. We can modify and we can cancel if we want. We can cancel order, we can cancel all BMO orders. Um, for fun, let's play around a little bit more let's let's modify then let's say we want market so i'm willing to buy 10 shares at whatever price see you see how it went up i guess like three dollars here because of the price change if we send order oh look at this we have a notification that comes up here order filled we have here this is our previous order it replaced executed this was our fill price executions this means what you just purchased so I now own these shares. My cash went down by $669. Let's buy a US stock now, just for example. Click here, let's buy Disney. Oh, Disney. So we wanna buy, oh man, this is expensive. What are we gonna do? Let's just do 10 shares at the market price. I just wanna show an example in my margin account. Click buy. Oh no, 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 that's not correct. 10 shares, not a hundred. Click always verify you're okay with $994, not the 9,000 that was previous. So because I don't have US dollars, I previously, earlier in the video, I exchanged funds, but because I'm in a margin account, they'll let me go negative temporarily and they'll charge me interest on it. So I'm buying 10 shares of Disney at $99, click here. Look at this, order filled right away. These are my orders executed. Go to executions, boom. I now own almost 
thousand US dollars worth of Disney shares. I think that's everything for this video, just how to buy. Um, should I show you how to sell? Fine, let's do how to sell. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose some money here. I'm gonna sell some BMO just for fun. We wanna sell one share of BMO at the market price, sell. So here I am losing some money, but I just wanna show you an example. Let's go sell one share BMO at market, send order. Order filled. We go here, executed, sold. Go to our executions. Here we have our sell price. So I just lost some money on this, no big deal. Um, but I think it's just good to see an example of how to buy, how to sell. I showed how to buy a Canadian stock BMO, how to buy a US stock, and then showed how to sell a Canadian stock. If we go to balances, I wonder if it'll reflect. You see here how my cash is already negative. They already took the money out. But because I have previously requested to exchange funds, I should have, I exchanged 1500 US, I should have the money come in maybe end of day, maybe tomorrow, an extra maybe 1500 US dollars. It'll come out of here, go into here. All right guys, I think that's everything for now. Pretty simple, um, just how to buy a share, how to sell a share. Please remember to like, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment if I missed anything, if there's anything else you'd like to know. Uh, tune in to my next few videos coming out for the next few weeks on the recession, how to buy shares in a bear market, maybe five dividend stocks to buy. I'll show some US stocks, some Canadian stocks, and that's it for now. Thank you. Thank you.